All right, so I took out the evolved dragon butts from Lost Isolus. Unfortunately, they do respawn, so I will not be resting back at the bonfire anytime soon. But now we can freely go ahead and pick up the items that they were guarding. Honestly, they weren't that bad in terms of fighting separately, of course. Ooh, three dragon, petrified dragon bones. That's, I need that for my bow, that's really good. What I find a little weird, though, is uh, their main weak spot was their head. Like, literally, if you hit him anywhere else, he did, like, a third of your normal damage. Cuban effigies. Okay, there's another item over here. Soul of the Great Hero. <laughs> I like how my armor's a little wet now. I'm rolling around in here. Let's see. Is there anything else? Kinda looking for a dragon stone. Okay, I believe the dragon stone's probably still up in the shrine world of Ghost Star. Much as I don't want to, I'm gonna have to go back. It's a little annoying. Sure, there's something else over here. What is that ghost? His, like, arrows responded, but the rest of them just, you know, just a ghost. A little weird. Okay. Help me, help me. <laughs> Beware of monster and then try luring it out. Beware of monster and short good luck. Yep. Thomas, you son of a bitch. I thought we were friends. He betrayed me bad. Deeper walls. Nope. Ugh, I really don't want to deal with this ghost. Especially the little gimmick behind them. I'm gonna have to run and try to find a corpse. Who the hell is singing? I'm trying to see. Hey buddy, I'm just gonna run right past by you. <laughs> Cause I'm terrified of you. Oh shit. Run! Get up the ladder! Okay. Okay. Deal with the sorcerer. Sorceress. Don't lock on to him. There you go. Oh, look, there's another one of those spitty contraption things. You can't get. Oh, shit, there's another one. Ugh. Ugh. They don't like it here. They don't like it. Um, there's gotta be the freaking corpse of these guys somewhere. Like, they seriously make it so they have to run through everything. And it's kind of. Okay. Oh god, I gotta hit that switch. Hit it! Hit that switch good! Thankfully, this one's not so aggressive. As I say that, I get hit. Oh god. We're I'm back here! Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Open the chest. I'm pretty sure it's not a mimic. But it is poison! Wait, it's talisman. I don't know what good that does me. <laughs> uh, there's another. Ch oh, thank God. He fell down there. But that—that's probably not the best thing in the world now, is it? Oh, come on! Wow. Oh, these are the bodies. Kill him.
These are all the bodies. Run! Run! Why aren't you running? Oh my god, that was terrifying. But one of them's still a ghost. And of course it has to be the one that's freaking chasing me. Uh... Oh look, he's normal. That's nice. Uh, is that one chasing me anymore? Can't tell. Gotta pelt this one of arrows. As it is the most appropriate thing to do. There's also this one. One more hit. There you go. One less ghosty. Oh, jeez. That's like an avalan that shoots freaking dark magic. I want one. Give me one. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch me. Then go ahead and let you uh, deal with that, buddy. crossbows on him? Yeah, this one's a little different. There we go. Now, did I miss a body in here? That is a good freaking question. Yes, I did. There's one in there, and that's him. By your magic anymore, are you? Pear powder. Sweet. Eternal Sanctum Key. Go ahead and read that. Even though my reading seems to be off today. Don't know why. Eternal Sanctum Key. Key to the depths of the Eternal Sanctum. Key to the inner chamber of the Eternal Sanctum. The Sunken King erected the Eternal Sanctum to shelter the Sin the Dragon. Sin the Dragon. I think that's his name. The Sanctum appears to be a solemn temple, but is filled with devilish creatures that ensure no trespassers shall cause offense. Okay, we got something out of this. Good. Good, good, good. We're making progress. Sanctum Knight Helm. Okay. And that would be this one. Eh, it's alright, I guess. Helm of the Sanctum Knights. The Sanctum Knights renounce their own flesh to eternally guard the Sanctums from the Sir Yorg of the Drake Blood Knights. Go ahead and put my witchy pimp hand on. It's all about the style. It's all about the style, souls. Screw everything else. You gotta kill while looking good. Q's on here. Has some style on her. Okay. So there's a chest there. There's about one other guy alive still down here. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit this chest now. I'm not too afraid of these ghosts anymore now that they're visible. The blood bite ring. I need these, and I'm gonna pick this up. Torch. Yeah, that was worth it. Oh shit! I 
I don't even remember what I just picked up. Okay. Hit the chest. Nothing. Open the chest. Something. Dragonstone, there it is. Give an effigy. Get out of the spikes. Another one of these. And run. And my ring time rest. Perfect. And now it's broken. Perfect. Just freaking perfect. But we got what we needed, that's good. Good, 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 good. All good things. That means this dude down here should also be visible. I love how the most of those attacks literally went above my head. Okay, now that we got the Dragonstone, we can activate that shrine. Hopefully. And since there's no more dragon butts, living dragon butts, this shouldn't be so bad. Trying to get over there. Just me constantly running out of stamina, that's all it is. Casually walking here because everything's dead. Dead as a doornail. Dead, dead, dead. Okay. Now we should be able to activate this. I imagine something's gonna link this bridge or something over here. Yep, there it is. Alright. Perfect. Summon this back down. And now, I don't know what is with this game in elevators, but yeah. Stuff. Don't know why I had to use that. Guess it's out of habit. <clears throat> Now before we actually head in there, where I think the boss may lie, or a boss, we are going to be resting at the bonfire and repairing our ring. Actually it might be advantageous for me to just use a homework bone or a feather. Yeah, very. Very so advantageous. <laughs> but now we gain access into the Aztec Temple. That's what it is, don't lie. That's what it looks like. Come on. Come on, Mr. Elevator. Oh, look at me fat roll. Alright, all my equipment is repaired, and it's time to head up into the temple. So all the hints leading so far that the boss here is a dragon. And probably the dragon that we see at the very beginning. Dragon Sanctum. All you gotta say for yourself, Dragon Sanctum. We're dropping down. Ah, we're right where I heard the singing, aren't we? Oh, there's the fog gate. There it is indeed. Just gotta be careful falling. Maybe I should put on the cat's ring. That might be a good thing. And get rid of quarantine ring for now and put on the cat ring. That seems like a wonder wonderful idea. Yep. Okay. Oh, what do we got here? Knights that we read about. Got that blood sword and whatnot. Ooh. 
Back off, buddy. You fat roll, adorable. Oh, jeez. Uh, not mean to do that. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a sniper right there if I let him loose. Not without doing and killing first. I ain't that stupid, buddy. Apparently my aim is. Now he fell. Perfect. Hmm? Do I jump? Yep, there we go. Well that really got me nowhere. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Crystal lizards! No! God damn it! <laughs> That's a troll! That is just a troll. And mean. Very, very mean. And there's my buddy. Yo. Hey, buddy. Fuck you. Go in there and see if I can't do any uh, damage to him. Okay, what? Who stole my treasure? Why am I using a shield? Again. I just killed him with the shield. Okay. Sadness. Sadness ahead. Definitely. It's always a sad day when your treasure's been looted. Okay. Let me place it drop down safely. Okay. A lot of blood stains. Be nice and safe about this. No reason to rush. Urns 10. They're really giving you a lot of consumable, yeah, consumable items this time around. Yeah, that's what happens. Bye bye. You look cool. Can I have your cape? Okay, let's see. I'll probably jump that. If there is anything else over here. No, I can't even get back up if I wanted to. Okay. Okay. That I'm just gonna have to jump. People fake! Okay. Scan the area. Slowly go down more. As I run. <laughs> oh, we got another one. Hey, buddy. Wanna play? And don't spam. Oh, we got another one. I thought I heard something.
Oh, jeez. There we go. One less dragon blood knight, whatever they're called. Drake blood. Getting closer to the bottom yet? No, that's just a pit. A bottomless pit of doom and despair. No! More treasure has been taken! Oh, look! Let's see... Drake Blood Armor. Holy crap! Oh, that is stylish. That is just fucking stylish. Especially with the, uh, what's it called? Drake Keeper Boots? Oh, that's just cool. Kinda has a bit of a Dragon's Dogma flair to it. And now I'm naked! <sighs> Armor of the Black Drakeblood Knights, who came from a land long forgotten. The Drakeblood Knights, who worshipped the blood of dragons, were led by Sir... Y I'm still saying his name is Yorg, somebody correct me. In a siege of eternal... in the Eternal Sanctum but sunk into the sanctum when the sleeping dragon awoke. The red cloth wrapped around the black armor represents the sacred blood of dragons. So we're kind of learning about the dragon cults in this area. Yeah, there's got to be another place to go now. Okay... Not here. Go where the torches are. The torches will always lead the way. Ugh! Ugh, I almost slipped. Okay, drop down. Drop down again. Somebody's using a club. Dropping down. And yeah, this has to be a boss area. Look at all those summon signs. Unfortunately, I'm too prideful at the moment to use one. Let's see, anything over here? You know me, I gotta explore. Anything at all. I see a message, like a dream. I could say, all the singing going on. Uh, well, here we go. Use one of those things we found. Hey you, stop your singing. Elena, the swallowed queen? What? Can't really Oh my god, she can teleport and she Is this what the Shondo she really should have been? The one I'm seeing right now. She's like an approved version of her. Ah. Oh what the fuck? Skyrim shit going on here. And she can summon skeletons. That's fun. And flames away. Oh no! Back. 
like staying over here. This team. What are you guarding? Okay. That's Infinity. Or Pursuers. I still think Pursuers is a better name. I'm getting greedy. I got greedy. Alright, she doesn't look good. that bad. That's for sure. She doesn't look that bad. And I forgot to change my ring. I'm realizing that right now. Uh, what am I thinking? What was I thinking? Alright, I remember to change my ring. Uh, let's make sure we have full health. Let's go, human. And what else? Fuck it, use this. I think we have time to buff before. I mean, after we enter the fog, so let's go ahead and do that. off the ground and whatnot. How does dark magic relate to pyroranth? Hurt her own minions like some of the other bosses do. Alright, I'm coming in, bitch. Again, this boss isn't so bad so far. A lot of magic going around. Oh jeez. Don't you teleport like that. Yeah, I feel like she's a more improved version of Chandra. Come on, finish it. One more hit. There we go. So of Elena, the Squalid King. Queen. Ugh. Okay, what kind of stuff is going on? What the fuck? Uh. Oh, it's a door. Oh, the poor head of the dragon came off. This is... I don't know what this is. What does it say? Nice job, and then I did it. Okay, good for you. I did it too. Bunch of dragon bones. Oh, yay! There's another boss. Let me go level up first. Alright, before we proceed. Let's go ahead and read that soul we obtained. If I can find it. Here it is. 
Saw Valena, the squalid queen, who rests beside the sleeping dragon of the eternal sanctum. So yeah, right up ahead's gonna be the next boss. This child of dark accompanies the dragon, slowly amassing souls to anticipate of the coming day of vengeance. The wondrous soul of this Arger of Wrath can be used to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. So what? She was Manus too? What the fuck? So I'm guessing more than one shard of Manus got fucking spread around the world. Alright. Let's head in. Oh boy, I don't like this setup already. I did it. Yeah, that helped a lot. Dowd win. Oh my god, you hit so hard and fast. Ugh. I do so little. You are aggressive. You are the most aggressive dragon. I think you're on par with Cal on that. Oh jeez. I just like casually sidestep that. As I die. Jeez. Okay, I deserve that death. But if I can get behind his hind legs, that seems to be his weak. Off over here. I like how he kind of. Got my dignity, it's right there. Why am I walking into the toxic? Ugh, get up.
Ah, oh, I did it. Sweet. Soul of Sin, the slumbering dragon. I see something glowing. You know what? Don't touch it without going to full health. What's this? Crown of the Sunken King. A faint heat lingers in the ancient crown. Yorg's Ring. Hooray for victory! Whew, I did that all by myself. No help from no fandom. I feel proud. That was like, what, three tries? Three or four tries? That wasn't so bad. Could have been a lot worse. It could have been Calamite. <laughs> we all know he's a lot worse. So let's go ahead and read the description of these items that we have obtained. First, the Crown of the Sunken King. Crown of the Sunken King who once ruled this land. The king erected the eternal sanctum below the earth to worship the great dragon, but the towering bulwark crumbled with the city shortly after the dragon's awakening. But these are the events of long ago. Today, no one even remembers the king's name. Aw, oh, that's sad. Apparently we know who the queen was, though. Why do we get to know the queen? Okay. Rings. Yorg's ring. Ring of Sir Yorg, who sought the blood of the dragon and invaded Shulva. Can deflect spells. Huh. This could be an anti... Good for anti-magic builds. If you're like a pure strength builder and you're weak to magic, this is it. Or if you're fat rolling and can't get away in time. When Sir Yorg forced Sin, the slumbering dragon... Face Sin, not force him. Face Sin, the slumbering dragon. He drew blood with a flash of his steel, but Sin responded by spewing forth the poison that had long brewed within him, blanketing the city in miasmic cloud. In a miasmic cloud. Okay. Now we get to read Sin's soul. Soul of Sin, the slumbering dragon. Soul of Sin, the slumbering dragon who sleeps in the lowest depths of the land. The king erected the magnificent city and the dragon slept soundly until Sir Yorg dis eh, disturbed it with a single great strike and the dragon could bear to store the poison no longer. The rain of death toppled the city but restored the dragon's purity. The wondrous soul of this dragon can be used to be normal souls or make a weapon. Alright. Is that it for this part of the DLC? Now we gotta wait for everything else. Aww. Well, we got some souls out of that. I imagine the other two crowns will come in time, and then when we have all three, something cool will happen. So there's that. Hey, Maiden. Harold, wherever you are. As you can see, this build's still a work in progress. Alright, I guess that's it for the Sucking Crown DLC. We'll meet back with Kuzan again later on when the other parts of the DLC come out. Wave. Wave, Kuzan. Bye bye. She was a good guide, wasn't she? Nothing too overpowered. You know, that stuff. Okay, bye.